Um, inspiration really came basically one, I enjoy whiskey uh, and through Bill and Lynn Lard um, having the federal legislation change to allow for boutique distillation, the opportunity came to invest in the whisky industry and uh, from that foundation, you know, uh, onward and upward. I think what makes us most proud with the whisky that we produce uh, is consistency and quality and high strength and to provide something that is not going to compete with Scotland or Ireland, we're going to produce something that is different and something that is unique and that also is uh, something that we would be proud of. George Thorogood. George Thorogood, the musician, uh, in your face, uh, loud and uh, lots of personality. You know, that's interesting, it's probably, um, I'll answer this. There are four things that go into whiskey production. There, first of all, is there the controllable, and they are the things like the process, the fermentation, the stills, the physical chemistry. The second thing that goes into whiskey is the um, personality of the distillery and the distiller. Uh, third thing are yeah, things that you can't control, the alchemy if you like, you know, why one barrel of the same whiskey run is stored next to another and after 10 years they're completely different. And to answer your question, the last thing is, when you consume whiskey, whiskey is, <laughs> and it gets slightly flippant, but it's who you drink it with is really important to me. And so the atmosphere that is created by whiskey and the people you drink it with. And uh, you know, hopefully that answers your question. Okay, the next one. If um, I've got a release coming out today called The uh, Devil May Care, the uh, next uh, Facebook and tweet will be to uh, tell everybody that it's available and ready. And, um, of course, it'll be a little bit irreverent, hopefully a little bit humorous, and um, get people's attention.